I'm sorry. I just can't seem to stop crying. That's all right. Would you like to step outside? Maybe you can splash some cold water in your face for a minute? Yeah, maybe I better do that. Okay. And then we'll figure out what we can do to make you feel better. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Fox? Arlene, hold all my calls for half an hour. Uh, no. No, wait. Uh, put all the calls through, and if uh, none come in, buzz me every 30 seconds with a client's name and pay no attention to the response. You've got that? Yes, sir. Delia, I am truly sorry. Well, it happened. I'm wiped out. It's all over. Bananas were an unfortunate investment. You don't think maybe it was a mistake, a misprint in the paper? Uh, no. Well, why? I must tell you, I feel partly responsible. You? Yes, no matter what, I should not have allowed you to continue with your entire investment in bananas. Oh, no, 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 that's very sweet of you, but you told me I should diversify, I just didn't listen to you. Uh, excuse me. I should have, you know, I really should have diversified. Yes? Mr. Forbes is calling, sir. Even Roger said that. All right, tell him that I've gone ahead with the sell order, he didn't lose a penny, we got him in under, just under the wire. Now, what, what is it? He listened to you, and I didn't. Well, we're all human. We all make mistakes. I don't even feel like a person anymore. My commodities, they were who I am. I'm sorry. Yes, what is it? Sorry, sir. Mrs. Ritz Parkinson on the line. All right, I'll take that. Hello, Dizzy. Yes. Uh, no, no, I can't right now. I'm tied up with a very important client. You trust me, don't you? I know. <laughs> okay. Regards to Jordan. Bye-bye. Now, Delia, I know how difficult this is for you. The market goes on. Only I'm not in it. You know what? Before I was investing, I almost never bought a paper. I thought it was all about things that were far away from me, like politics and crime and war. And then when I got into commodities, I, I subscribed to it immediately. And first thing, I'd read the financial page, and it was like I was reading about myself. I'm really very sorry. Yes, what is it now? I'm sorry, sir. Everyone wants you today. Judge Samuels insists to talk with him. Tell Judge Samuels he's going to have to wait. As a matter of fact, tell him I'm not here, which in five minutes is going to be true. Now, really, this is impossible. Delia, I have uh, a couple of ideas that I've roughed into a proposal for you, <clears throat> and I'd like to discuss it with you, but we can't do it here. All right? You Would you like to go someplace quiet? Do you really think we can fix things? I think we can start again. So, come on, let's go someplace quiet where we can talk about this. I just, I don't know what there is to talk about now. The future. Come on. Hey, look. Hey, buddy, can I say something? Now, look, this is a private home. I don't care if you're the senator's nearest and best friend. You're going to call him at the office like everybody else. Later. Wow. They never let up, do they? Anyway, Patrick said that he couldn't go on without Nancy, so he packed his bag and he went after her. Mm-hmm. To San Antonio. Oh. oh, brother. Hello. I am very sorry. You're going to have to call the senator's office about that. It's unbelievable. Amazing. Uh, 
<laughs> we got to at least have five minutes here. Well, I don't like the idea of people not being able to reach us, but let me say uh, that's a relief. Amen. I tell you, that place is a madhouse down there. Reporters all over the place, but... Uh, what... When did you guys get here? About three minutes ago, Don. We saw the crowd through the front window, so we came in the side door. Oh. Which is not to say that we've had a moment to exchange three words with the phone ringing the way it was. Mm, yeah. I'm really well, sorry. I see you managed to solve the problem, huh? <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'm causing everyone so much trouble. Oh, go on with you. When was there ever a time when you weren't in the middle of something or other? I'll tell you, I like it a lot better with you in the Senate than I did when you were out late walking a beat. Well, well, you meet a better class of mugger that way. <laughs> Look, Frank, just stop worrying. The truth's going to come out. It will if the FBI has anything to say about it. I spent the better half of this afternoon with one of them. And he did not miss much. What sort of things did they ask him about? Only everything about your entire life. Did you get any sense that they were interested in a special area? Well, to tell you the truth, I did. Yeah, what? They kept asking all sorts of questions about Jillian. Oh? Yes. Yeah, well, I can understand that. Well, I know they, they, they uh, interviewed her, and I know that she gave them permission to search her apartment in the old office, too. It wasn't what they said, and it wasn't the questions they asked me. It was just that I had the distinct impression that they thought that it was Jillian, of all people, that sent that oh, evidence to Jack. Now, we see, just, I don't know. Senator Ryan, I'm sorry to intrude. I just want to ask one question. What in the hell How are you doing here? Is it true that your entire New Hampshire campaign was, was financed by NLW Industries? All right, right young man. Oh. This is a private reviden residence. I think you'll just have to talk to my son when he is in his well, office. I'm sorry, ma'am. He's never talking to anybody. Well, if you know that, then what the hell are you doing Next up here? Let's go downstairs. Just, and I'll talk to you downstairs. Man. The problem is that uh, my problems don't end with me. They're starting to affect all of us. Well, this is a surprise. These are surprising times. I need your help, and I need it badly. I spent that past couple of days researching New York State divorce law. Yeah, yeah, so uh, I'm surprised you've had time with everything that's been going on. Who turned Frank in anyway, you know? Frank is being framed. I'd be surprised if you didn't support that theory. It's not theory, it's fact. He didn't peddle influence. He believed the vice presidential campaign was spontaneous. Yeah, I can accept that. Frank's ego probably blocked any earlier arrangement. Why don't you just stop that? I didn't come here to listen to your abusive fantasies. You and I and Frank are in an untenable situation. Now, that is pretty obvious. There is no need to prolong the agony. I want a quick divorce. Now, will you help me? Now, agony is probably a very good description for your situation now that you're with him again. Why don't you stop? I think after everything that we've been through together, you at least owe me the decency of common politeness. All right. I'm sorry. I can't help you. I won't give you a divorce. What are you trying to do, damn it? What are you trying to do to me? No, no, no. For you. I still care about you, Jillian. Well, I'm going to do everything I can to get you out of my system. If you care so much about me, then let go of me now. No, that's the one thing I can't do because I care. I'm the only protection you have between you and your self-destructive instincts. Oh, God. Uh, there's one thing that I can still do for you. It's keep you from a, a deathly marriage with Frank Ryan. If you start to lecture me or condescend to me, there is no such thing as a unilateral divorce in New York State. You have to prove adultery, cruelty, desertion, or abandonment, none of which I've done. And there can be no further action on the case without a separation agreement, which I won't give you. Now, the fact that I left the apartment does not constitute desertion, since you asked me to go. All right. Then will you do it because I need you to do it? Because I am in pain. I think Frank Ryan has always brought you pain. Oh, you are the most arrogant man I know, making decisions for me! I'm sorry. I am sorry I'm doing the best I can. See, I don't believe for one minute that Frank is being framed. I think that his ambition has made him take the first opportunity to sell out. And if you don't think I'll do everything I can to keep you from getting in his hold... He has hold on me. Except for the fact that we are being persecuted by every magazine in the country! Yeah, so I've noticed. Seneca. I have never begged, you know that. It is not in my nature. But I'm asking you now to please help me. 
I'm sorry, Jillian. We are in love with each other. We are going to live together until we get married. You are just making the situation more embarrassing for us, keeping us from making a home for little John. Legal documents are important. You pointed that out to me. Marriage is a legal document. Marriage to Frank would be a disaster. I am sorry, Jillian. I can't help you. Not now, not ever. You're cruel. And you're vindictive. I have asked you and begged you. And I've heard your answer. I'll never forgive you for this, Danica. I always feel better in places like this. It's the hospitality suite for the VIP clients. We live in this tiny apartment, and I wanted to move, but Roger wouldn't. So then I was going to redecorate at my expense, but now... I want you to feel free to use this whenever you'd like. Enjoy the ambiance. It's quiet, it's private, and there are no incoming calls. Oh. Here you are. I still think some brandy would do you more good. Oh, no, no. I'm too close to the edge. Strong liquor would send me right over. Whatever you say. Here's to recovery. I wish I knew why you th think that's possible. Because you're you. What do you mean? Well, you still have the same basic ingredients you started out with. Your talent, your intelligence, your flair. Yeah, but look what it got. Well, things could be a lot worse. At least you're not as in a position like your ex-father-in-law. You're not in debt. The minute your fund hit zero, your cutoff went right into effect. Yeah, but my system went crazy. May said all the right things about bananas, but bananas were all wrong. So if I can't count on my system, what am I going to count on? Me? For what? Advice and counsel. Oh, yeah, but it's too late. Not necessarily. You remember the other day when you got so angry at me? I realized that I'd made a mistake. You are unusual. You're special. You make mistakes. <laughs> Occasionally. Anyway, I realized that I should have given your system more credence. How can you say that now? Because now I think I understand what went wrong and what we need to fix it. You see, I was leery about bananas because they were high. And anything else that you've invested in, has, based on your hunches from Mrs. Ryan, it always had room for growth potential. You wouldn't be rubbing it in now, would you? No, I'm not. It's just that now I realize that what we need is the combination of the two. Your instincts plus my wider knowledge of the field. Now, say, say Mrs. Ryan has a feeling about, what, uh, string beans. You come to me with that information, and I'll check it out with what I know. If there's room for growth, we invest in string beans. If not, you go back and listen to more, some more to her. But oughtn't we to diversify? Yes, that too. Well, yeah, maybe that could work, you know? It would be like I had the best of both worlds. Oh, thank you. I'm flattered. Wait a minute. What am I saying? I'm crazy. Why? Because I don't have any money. How can I invest? I don't even have a penny. How about a loan? Oh, sure. From where? What bank's going to loan to somebody that just lost $100,000? And my husband, Roger, wouldn't... He wouldn't loan me a subway token on Sunday when they're half price. His sisters have a lot of money, but they hate me. And Maeve and Johnny owe me, but they're broke. And I just, I can't ask them to pay me any more than they already are. Oh, no, 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 no. I wasn't going to suggest that. Delia, would you consider me helping you? Uh, well, how? <laughs> By extending you some credit. Why would you do that? Sound business practice. You've been a winner before. You can be again. You really believe that? Absolutely. How does 25,000 sound? Oh, I could start over. That is the point. With my old system, but with you helping me. Yes, of course. But that's so kind. Arlene, I want you to put 25000 into Mrs. Uh, Coleridge's account by the end of the business day. No, no, take it from my personal account. Yeah, 
Thank you. There. See how easy it is? Your personal account. Well, it's simpler that way. Then the accountants won't be bothered by the lack of collateral. I don't think you want to put up Ryan's bar. Oh, no, no. No, and I don't think you're going anywhere. I trust you. Well, thank you. Oh, God, you must be very rich. Very. <clears throat> Did you make all that money in commodities? Well, I've multiplied it in commodities. Actually, I was uh, born with money. I think that's why I appreciate people like you who start with nothing and go so far. Well, it looks like I'm starting again, thanks to you. Mm -hmm. Now, do you feel better? Oh, yes, I really do. And I, um, I really appreciate what you're doing for me. Well, I have a confession to make. I am not doing all of this for Grimley and Fox. I mean, not all of it for business purposes. No? No. Uh, you are the most dramatically successful client we've ever had. But believe me, you are also the most beautiful. And I could not bear to see you so unhappy. You really are incredibly lovely. Um... I'm sorry. I just felt faint. Um, I think I need some air. All right. I'm, I'm really sorry. I, today's just been uh, too much. That's all right. I understand. There'll be other days. Would you like me to call you a cab? No, no, I'm fine. I mean, I will be. All right. Well, I'll set up a conference. We have to talk. Like, you have to do something with that money. That's right. Now, the way I look at it, these are the people who will benefit most with me out of the Senate. Now, I can eliminate the first four names. Was that little John who just went through? Yeah, heading up to his room. I'll go get him. Yeah, would you, Bob? You know, Frank, he's got to be a little bit upset with all this commotion going on. Yeah, I wonder how much he understands, Doc. Hi, Jill. Hi, everybody. Find out anything new? No, not yet. We're hoping the FBI will come up with some answers. They should. They interview everybody the way they interviewed me. Yeah. Hey, Frank. I think you ought to have a couple of words with John over here. What seems to be the trouble, John? I don't know. He was crying when I went into his room, but he won't tell me what it is. Is that true? Were you crying? You want to, uh, tell me what's on your mind? You know, oh, he, he gets like that, yeah. Frank. Yeah. Say, say, those are new sneakers. How do you like them? I seem to remember you saying something about them making your legs go faster, right? Do you like, are they good for running? I haven't heard much about school this year. Do you like your new teacher? Yeah. Something really is getting you. John. Look at me. Look at me. Is there something you want to ask me? Richard's father said you sold it out. He did, huh? Do you know what that means, sold out? No more newspapers. No more newspapers. Well, that's, you're right, that is a part of it, sort of. But I guess you know that selling out isn't very good because it's making you unhappy, right? Well, John, I have to tell you this. I'm sorry I didn't speak to you sooner about it. I did not sell out to anyone. It's not true. I would never do that because I love you. And that would be letting you down, and I could never do that. Little John, your father is a wonderful man. And he would never do anything to make you ashamed. John, you know that I am in a very, very big business, right? And right now, there you're right, there is a lot of trouble about it. That's why there are so many people downstairs. That's why the phone keeps ringing. And that's why some of your friends 
are going to say some things that, that might hurt you. Now, I know that's painful. It's hard. But I can promise you, John, that nothing bad, nothing bad is going to happen to you. Nothing bad is going to happen to me or Grandma or Granddad or, or Jill or any of our family. Because, see, John, we have each other, right? We love each other and we take care of each other and we know that God loves us and God takes care of us too. So I'm sorry this is upsetting you, but John, it's going to be all right. I... Excuse me, Francis, but there's a television crew asking for you downstairs. Yeah, would you tell them in a second? I'll be down in a minute, Ma. Right. I'll issue a statement. Ma, I think, uh, I think John can use some of your special attention. Oh, really? Is that all right? Come on. Come on. Go down and look at the television. Sold out. Well, I better make a call. Oh. Hello. Oh, yeah. Latest FBI findings. Yeah. Are you sure about that? Yeah, okay. Uh, thanks a lot. Well? That doesn't make any sense. What? Come on, don't keep us in suspense. The whole report was mostly about you, Jill. Me? The covering letter that was sent with the documents to Jack Finelli was written on your office typewriter. They also found extra copies of the documents in your old files. What if the perfect guy for you is in L.A. or D.C. or New York City? Get ready to take a holiday, a new original reality series, all new tonight at 10 on SoapNet.